What happens when you combine Warhammer 40k and retro gaming? Well, you get perfection. Bolt Gun is a boomer shooter that puts retro Warhammer vibes and fast gameplay above all else. It's an action-packed FPS that stays true to the franchise's roots without getting too lost in the deep lore of the 40k universe. Although you might just get lost. There's no minimap in this game. Today, I want to give you my first impressions on a game that mashes two fantastic things together. This is the Reese's Pieces of FPS games. Now firstly, there's no denying, Bolt Gun rips. The gameplay, sound design, and levels all work seamlessly to create a unique Warhammer experience with an awesome retro presentation. You can move fast and jump massive gaps, but you're still a space marine wearing the equivalent of tank armor. Your footsteps are menacing and loud, your guns are big, and your abilities tear through most enemies. If you're a fan of retro-inspired FPS games, Bolt Gun will feel very familiar. And if you're not familiar with this genre of games, then Bolt Gun may actually be the perfect introduction. Also, if you're curious about this genre, check out my recent video that dives deeper into the best retro shooters out there. I would certainly add Bolt Gun to that list. Now one of the core philosophies behind just boomer shooters is that you should always be making forward progress and anything in your way must die, which very conveniently suits Warhammer's universe. This is a franchise about purging the heretics, not tiptoeing through dangerous territory. Bolt gun puts, well, a bolt gun in your hands and sets you loose in a mostly linear but still well-crafted levels awash with mutants, cultists, and enemy soldiers with the occasional boss fight thrown in for good measure. In the first couple of hours, you'll acquire the bolt gun, multiple grenades, a shotgun, plasma gun, and a heavy bolter. Should you run out of ammo or, say, just need a more personal touch, you also have a chainsaw that tears through low-level enemies quickly, and you can even chew through tougher enemies by tapping the melee button. You also get some additional tools, like a dash that kills or stuns enemies on hit, and it can even be chained together in short windows to hit subsequent enemies. Enemies. Falling or even jumping from higher up does a ground slam that damages enemies, and while I wouldn't call it a necessarily deep combat system, it definitely spices up what would otherwise be a relatively straightforward shooter. That said, even a straightforward shooting approach can be great, and the star of Bolt Gun really is its gunplay. All the guns feel and sound truly devastating. Enemies go down quickly, and there's even ammo modifiers that you can pick up to deal bonus damage, plus pickups that give you boosted damage for a short time. Often, it doesn't even feel like you're shooting enemies as much as it sounds like you're ripping them to shreds with bullets. I particularly like how heavy hitting the shotgun is, as it just absolutely clears the room with just a few shots. Enemies explode into geysers of gore with their remains left behind in tatters. And the sound design and general feedback you get during combat really ties it all together. You really do feel like a proper space marine. And your guns are so powerful that they can even stun lock the bigger enemies in the game like the Chaos Terminator. And it's a good thing too because Bolt Gun loves throwing heaps of enemies at you all the time. Every corner has something to kill around it. It also employs the somewhat expected retro FPS combat arenas where you have to kill all the enemies in a room or area to unlock the next phase. Now as any Warhammer fan can tell you, this universe is deep with lore to the point where it may even seem daunting to try and get into it. But Bolt Gun provides a great gateway to the world of 40k. There's plenty of the franchise's lore baked into Bolt Gun, but it's treated more like set dressing or environmental storytelling or something that you get to absorb rather than have to deal with. The primary goal of the game is shooting stuff and finding keys to unlock and exit. That said, the game does have an enjoyable story. It's told via retro looking cutscenes with sparse animation and great voiceover work, as well as narration and text provided by characters like your Servo Skull and Inquisitor who sent you on the mission to begin with. Bolt Gun is set after the events of Space Marine and your mission is to clean up any loose ends on the planet Gorea as part of a small squad. Unfortunately, your dropship is damaged in the descent, leaving you the lone survivor. And as soon as you take control of your character, it's pretty much full steam ahead. 
The game also runs great. I imagine just about anyone out there should be able to get 60 FPS most of the time, plus you can tune some of the settings to ensure a stable performance. The art style is beautiful, dark and moody, but it still has a vibrant color palette with splashes of bold bright colors and a world awash with grime and blood. The music is bombastic and fuels the frenzy of combat while knowing when to calm down and just be atmospheric. Bolkan also understands its presentation and doesn't afford it the same serious tone of games like, say, Dark Tide. To a certain extent, it kind of wears its silliness of its presentation on its sleeve with stuff like a dedicated taunt button that makes your character yell 40k one-liners. But the game never really goes off the rails trying to be too comedic or goofy. It stays grounded in the 40k world without succumbing entirely to its cartoonish visuals. And honestly, calling the visuals cartoonish is a bit of a disservice to just how good the game actually looks. The vistas, character design, UI, it all has a ton of care and detail crammed into those rather large pixels. Now, all that said, the game does have a few sword spots. Feedback when taking damage is very subdued, even when you're getting hit for, say, half of your health in a single shot. It's not a huge deal since you can have up to 250 HP and over 200 armor, but you'll probably end up dying by surprise only to realize that you are actually just running around with 12 HP left. A bolder visual aid like your health flashing or the screen flashing red around the edges when taking big damage would help with this. And speaking Speaking of health, getting sidetracked and having to hunt down health and armor packs tends to slow the pacing of the game down a bit. This is likely on purpose to encourage learning the levels for repeat playthroughs, but the health and armor pickups dropped by enemies could use a small buff to make some of the larger pickups less of a priority. Now the secrets that you track down on each level generally offer just some health or ammo, so it feels less like secrets and more like a small reward for straying from the game's clear path forward. That's not really really a bad thing, it just would be kind of cool if some of the deeper bits of lore or content were included with those secrets as well. And finally, despite Bolt Gun being mostly linear, the levels often have large rooms with branching paths that you have to fight through to get to a key and make your progress. Since the game doesn't really have a map and it does everything it can to keep you running at a breakneck pace, it can sometimes be tough to find the doorway that you actually need to make your progress through after completing one of the branching paths. It's certainly not as bad as some of the more maze-like games in the pixel shooter genre and you can generally just follow the trail of new enemies to the exit, but it could certainly use a few more environmental cues like lights or animated doors would help. I never got lost for more than a minute or two, but it does break the pacing every single time it happens. And again, these are all minor issues in the grand scheme of a otherwise awesome game. Overall, Bolt Gun is a solid addition to the retro shooter lineup and an easy recommendation for any anyone who likes these types of games. If you're looking for a straight to the veins action FPS set in a unique world with a refined and vibrant visual style, it is easy to recommend Bolt Gun. It's definitely one of the more accessible Warhammer games for outsiders as well. It's a fun time and a solid purchase for just 20 bucks, especially considering the wealth of games and narratives that it primes you for should you choose to go further down the Warhammer 40k lore rabbit hole. Have you guys played Bolt Gun yet? If so, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to hear what you think of it. And up next, check out my best Boomer Shooters video with some of the genre's biggest standout games. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.